Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for another Oracle Tarot card deck review. And today we will be reviewing the Green Witch Tarot. And this is by Anne Mora, artwork by Kiri Ostergaard Leonard. And literally, I just received this about an hour ago, and I cannot wait to unbox this. Um, the box that it comes in is a, a very large box. Okay, it's a uh, lighter cardboard. It's not very heavy. Um, I would say that this box would be maybe collapsible, so you really would not want to put much weight on top of it. Um, I usually store mine like this when they come in boxes like this, so I don't have to worry about them getting damaged. And let's see what's inside this box. And the box opens from the top, and inside we have a tray. And we'll slide this out. And I finally got it right this time. I ordered the kit, which comes with the book and cards. I've been having a, a lot of problems uh, ordering the wrong thing where I get the cards and not the book, or the book and not the cards, but thankfully I got it right this time. Uh, this is a very beautiful book. It's a very thick book, okay? It's a glossy cover, okay? Beautiful blue, a beautiful mysterious picture. Um, and inside the book, you're gonna have about the artist, okay? And of course, about the author as well. And it's gonna tell you other books by Ann Mora. You're gonna have your table of contents an introduction, a uh, brief history of Tarot, and it's going to tell you how to perform a, a tarot reading, consecrating your tarot deck, grounding yourself, how to begin the reading. Very nice. And then chapter one goes right into the major arcana, and there's room here for notes, which is very nice. Okay, so we're going to get a picture, okay, of the card, and then it's going to tell us the meaning of the card. Again, we have a picture. And then, of course, the high priestess. So going back here, I think I may have skipped. Yes, here we are. The first uh, card is the green man. It's a card number zero. So it would normally be the fool in a traditional tarot deck. And then we have number one, the witch. Um, so actually this would be the magician. And then of course we have the high priestess. And this would be the high priestess. And we have three, Earth Mother. So Traditionally, this would be the Empress. So you get my drift of how these are uh, worded here, where we have different uh, names of cards other than the traditional. So instead of saying the Empress, we have the Earth Mother. Okay. And then we have here, instead of the Emperor, we have the Horned God. So each and every card, all 78 of the Tarot cards, are being displayed in this book as you can see, and the meanings are given. There's card spreads, and then the conclusion. So very nice book. Uh, the book is actually, let's see how many pages. The book is actually 240 pages, so it's a very nice, well-made guidebook. Uh, it reads like an actual book. It's not just a little leaflet or booklet that you would get. It's very well-made, very sturdy. And then let's take a look at the cards. And let me just remove the plastic. And, oh, how beautiful is that? This is the back of the card. 
and it's a beautiful, beautiful, it looks like a, a door. It's wooden with the wreath hanging on it, with the red roses circling it. Oh, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous colors. And the red really pops. The red really, really pops. And I love the shade of green in the background. And the cards are average size card, not too big, not too small. Okay. And um, they're a little thinner, um, but I'm sure they'll be durable. Uh, they're a semi-gloss finish to them. And let's see how they shuffle. Very easy to shuffle. And let's take a look at the cards. Here we have the Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. And I love the involvement of a lot of floral. Uh, here we have uh, herbal. This looks like it could be maybe uh, maybe heather. Uh, pots of green plants. Here we have one outside the door. And the artwork is very, very colorful. Very vibrant. The red, again, seems to really pop. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and again the flowers, you have animals in the background, again more flowers and animals, the Ace of Thames, so this would be the Swords, Two of Swords, we have the green man, and the green man, of course, would be the fool. The witch would be the magician. High priestess is the high priestess. The earth mother, which would be the empress. The horned god, which would be the emperor. The high priest. The lady and the lord, which would be the lovers. The battle wagon, which would be the chariot. The crone, which would be strength. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. Hope the camera's picking up on the beauty of all of the artwork. This is so mysterious and enchanted, and I love the fact there's snow. Um, it's dark. He's holding the lantern. The holly king. The wheel of the year. The Standing Stone, the Oak King, and of course we do have numbers on these cards. This is 13, the Lord of Shadows. The Three of the Thames, which would be the Three of Swords. The Four of the Thames, which would be the Four of Swords in the background. Absolutely beautiful. There's the Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. I mean, look at how beautiful the greenery. This has such a, a nature vibe to it. Beautiful, beautiful nature vibe. Look at this one, too. Again, there's like a mystery, an enchanted feeling to some of these cards. The Nine of Swords. Look at the sorrow on this woman's face. The energy from each of the characters on these cards is really phenomenal. The Ten of Swords. Look at how sad she is kneeling on the ground by the fire. We have animals here once again. There's an owl here for the Page of Swords. The Knight of Swords. The Queen of Swords. King of Swords. Then we get into the Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, Three of Wands, Four of Wands, Five of Wands, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, 
the nature is so present in, in all of these cards. Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands. We have a squirrel here. Page of Wands. We have the donkey. The Knight of Wands on their horse. Queen of Wands. There's a bird in the tree. King of Wands. Ace of Chalices. We have the Ace of Cups. Two of Chalices. Two of Cups. Three of Chalices. And it's very similar to a traditional tarot, some of these pictures, like this one where there's the three women gathering in a celebration. We have the Four of Chalices. Five of Chalices. Six of Chalices. Seven of Chalices, Eight of Chalices, Nine of Chalices, Ten of Chalices, Page of Chalices, Knight of Chalices, Queen of Chalices, King of Chalices. Just beautiful, beautiful cards. Look at the tower. It's called the Wild Hunt. Card 16, the Wild Hunt. And look at the energy. The energy. There's just like flames and, and smoke and coming out of the, the window and it's toppling over. And up here you have these people in battle. Uh, very, very interesting. The star. How magical is that? She's in the forest and the trees and the stars are shining brightly. That is a beautiful picture. The moon. And look at that. And it's casting a shadow on the water and she's standing there in the evening. The sun. We have all the sunflowers here and the sun is shining bright. And again, you know, a lot of greenery, a lot of flowers and plants and animals in these cards. Harvest. The world tree. Ace of pentacles. Two of pentacles. Three of pentacles. Four of pentacles. Five of pentacles. Six of Pentacles. These are great cards for a beginner because there is a, a guidebook that will explain to you the different meanings. It may be a little challenging if you're not familiar with Tarot or ever read Tarot, but it is doable because the guidebook is a very nice book. Uh, these would be great for a professional card reader as well. I'm very happy that I purchased these cards. These are going to be a welcome addition to my growing uh, Tarot deck collection. I love everything about them. Beautiful, amazing, amazing artwork. If you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.